what is happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Um, this is why the feminist mindset or feminism is not taken seriously. I got a few points to make. One is feminist and feminism is not a self-sustained thing. See, feminist and feminism does not provide for feminist and feminism. Okay? These these females do not look to other women for their survival. Let, let, let's to depend on a patriarchal system that provides you the ability to be so taken care of, you can complain about being taken care of, but still unwilling to take care of yourself is a major issue. If feminists will say something like, I don't want to be a part of this this man's world. Okay, y'all girls get get together, start building that bridge so y'all can go. To, start building the bridge so you can go to a different land mass and build you a uh, plant and build you uh, and farm the land. Get, some, get your agricultural work in. Maybe find a source of. Um, of uh, some kind of either crop or natural resource on that land to, 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 to create your own economy, start your businesses, you know, create yourself an army. Do you, and your own currency and do your thing. It's hot outside. Ugh, I don't want to go out there and do all of that shit, but you, I'm, but I'm better than you. Mm, that's gonna work because of the willingness, because of the unwillingness to actually get out there and do something. I bring this up because even the inception of what it, of, of feminism to a degree was latching on to the civil rights movement. See, feminists didn't even want to stand for feminism on their own because initially they had to get on through the civil rights movement. Pretty much. Well, everything, affirmative action, that wasn't for women. Really, affirmative action really began for black men. But femi feminists j jumped in to the civil rights movement to, on coattails so and then coattail their way into the affirmative action bill you see the affirmative act the affirmative action bill was re, was like revised in like 69 or something like that to add um women and who benefits from that now for the most part white women and other races of people. So a lot of this stuff, I can use other races of people too, but I'm not going to do. It. I'm just saying this is the feminist or feminism mindset. A lot of from so from the inception of actually making steam, they didn't even do that on their own. So it's already from a male point of view known that. Feminism and feminist mindset are not willing to do anything. They're not willing to work. They're not actually willing to separate. They're not actually willing to start their own anything. You know, they just, they want, what they want is for men to build something up, for them to say, you're better than us here. Take it and run with it. We'll still work everything in the back. Make sure everything gets done. We'll still fix it and, and maintain it. And, but you're in charge. You're, but, and you will never have to lift a finger. That's how it looks. Same thing with intelligence, right? The mindset is not taken seriously because you have women who are feminists and feminist or feminism and feminism. I, I know I'm using both. Forget it. Whatever. Um, you have women in feminism who are feminists. 
or you have women who have a feminist mindset. That's what I've been trying to say. And they'll get an education. You have women who are actually intelligent, who are feminists, who are, fe who are in feminism or have a feminist mindset. And then you have women who are unintelligent, who manipulate the system. So now you, you, it's looked at with a different degree because, see, you have women who got a, who, who were on the dean's list and the honor roll students who were geniuses built on their abilities and their, and their work ethic. Then you have women who fuck their way to, to the honor roll, cry their way to the honor roll, manipulated their way to the honor roll. So now you have a genius with a the harlot, with a manipulator, all in the same group of people, all claiming that they're intelligent. But when it's time to um, show and prove, only one stands out. The rest of them fall aside. And then as a group, it makes the whole group look bad because it's like, y'all really ain't as together as y'all say. You have, using that, you have the women who saying they shouldn't be, we should be equal because we're just human beings and we're equal. We just may be different sexes. And then you have women using their sex to make sure to get equality. So you're contradicting yourselves. So, also, we take this to the family structure. You have women who feel like, you know, mothers and women can do the job. Who needs a man? Who needs patriarchy? But then you have women who petition for alimony, child support, Section 8 housing, food stamps, uh, WIC, I guess, or you say WIC, whatever, um, Medicare from the state, welfare just in general, one way or another, to subsidize the lifestyle that they felt like they could provide on their own that they somehow can't provide, but somehow the better parent to provide it. So you undermine yourself with your instability because needing that much help to be on equal footing as a man who will not who will never get that much help. You you're not gonna find guys on section eight and food stamps and who get when you switch this when you switch this scenario, it completely changes. If you met a man who got married to a woman, divorced her, applied for alimony, uh got the child, got child support, and can be on um, in Section 8 housing or ha have bill reduction and, and have food stamps and say, oh, oh, that's because I am the better parent who can make sure this kid does things because I have, I know more and I have more time on my hands to pick them up from school because I don't do any fucking thing. And they should provide me the lifestyle to be able to teach this child the nothing that I don't do and don't know how to do. See how that it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I'm saying if if a man that's 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 what it looked like if a man did it. But all of a sudden, equality went out the window on that one, right? Because when a woman does it, that, that's her role. That's kind of like racism, right? Some people claim superiority, but they couldn't function on their own without creating the situation that they, they could feel superior in. Kind of like, um, in general, I think I've made this re reference before. If anybody watched the movie Gladiator near the end when Joaquin Phoenix and... Uh, is it Russell Crowe? 
or Gerald Butler, whatever, Russell Crowe. And Russell Crowe was, um, when they were coming up to have their last final fight, and Joaquin Phoenix stabbed him, like, in the back, like in the heart, before they went out in front of the crowd. To the crowd, it was if he would have won, it would have been a show of superiority. To the people on that little elevator, it was like, oh, this, this. Oh, you had to stab him in the back through the ribs to the heart before he got out there because you couldn't, because you knew you were unequal to begin with. He has to be dying, literally, you know, from your from a disadvantage that you created for you to even feel superior, to, to feel on par enough to have a chance at winning. And that's what's going on. So at the end of the day, the mindset is all messed up because the mindset is actually unwilling to be on equal footing. Because it never, from the get-go, wanted to be on its own to begin with. You can put, you can use that the same thing with racism. You can use that the same thing with uh, 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 the gay movement. Once you latch on to somebody else and and piggyback what they're doing or what the, and what they're doing and what have done to prop yourself up, then it's automatically known that. You wouldn't do it. So the the ideology the ideology that you're fighting for is based on bullshit. Because ultimately, if it was really a true ideology that you would stand on, you wouldn't have to ride other coattails to 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 in its foundation and inception. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, how will you, how, people wouldn't, uh, never completely really take it seriously because it's already built and known from the beginning of it to now because I think, I, I, I know it's a spawn of woman suffrage, but Feminism, the way it, it, it spawned, seems to have taken on a whole nother direction. But at the end of the day, all I'm saying is, from then till now, it was already a given that, and the equality that 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 feminists and fe feminism wants, it was never to stand on it. It never stood on its own two feet to begin with to get it so it was because of that every move in it is contradictory and uh absent of actual foundation because of the unwillingness to actually build its own foundation same thing uh, like i said before even with the, with with, with uh, racism and the gay struggle to a degree because and I use the gay struggle, uh, gay movement right now, because I guess it's more popular at the particular point. But gay people never came up with their own relationship model. The relationship model that gay people come up with is a heterosexual relationship model. So to want everything that heterosexual couples have and want. Is not taken really completely as serious because why don't you create you too lazy to create your what you are everything has to its whole base and foundation is upon heterosexual interaction and relationships it, it never created its own lane same thing peace